time I'll call forward George Bruno Chaplin for the VFW. Post 662 Lowell to offer the opening prayer. In what is called Victory Park. In October of 1943, this old man in a funny looking hat was seven years old. Our country was fighting a world war. In Europe, the war was raging. The plans for the invasion of Normandy were in place. In the Pacific, the war was also at its peak. Iwo Jima and Okinawa, two of the bloodiest battles, were not yet fought. Yet here at home, a group of citizens from Wiganville and South Lowell formed a committee. They were led by Mr. Robert Catherwood. Their job was to dedicate a memorial to the men and women in the armed forces from these neighborhoods. Now remember, this was 1943. We we're only halfway through the war. This land was donated by Mr. and Mrs. James Steed and their daughter, Miss Virginia Steed. And it would be the location for the memorial. You go, Tom. Their regards. Uh, they couldn't be here today, but Representatives Golden, Murphy, and Nangle all asked me to extend to everyone here their deepest honor representing Lowell down at the State House and also congratulations on this dedication. I'm honored to be here for the rededication of Victory Park and to show my support for the men and women in the United States Armed Forces. As Bob just mentioned, in 1943, this park was dedicated for the member of 246 men and women from our district and from Wigginsville and South Wall who were serving in the Armed Forces. As we look at this beautiful monument, we remember not only those who served in World War II, and I know we all have the memories of those of our loved ones who served, and I know in my case it's my father who served in the Marine Corps during World War II. But we remember those who have served and given their lives for our country, but also our gratitude for those men and women who are still serving our and country. And today we rededicate this park. And I think it's fitting that as we rededicate this park, that we also rededicate ourselves to making public spaces in this city really places that are worthy of those who, who fought so hard to protect it and to protect them. And I appreciate uh, all the work that's been done to, to make this a park again for those people in the neighborhood so that we all have the memory of what they have done for us. Thank you very much. Death, for most of us, we visualize it as the end. In fact, it's just the beginning. But we have to realize it doesn't end with the death of these individuals. They leave behind parents, they leave behind siblings, they leave behind wives, husbands, and they leave behind children. As the senator said, we have a duty to make sure that we do not forget our obligation to these families. Thank you.